Hello friends. So in the previous video, we have seen various relative speeds associated with the fifth harmonic. So in this video, we will do the same for the seventh harmonic. No difference. Just we are going to use all our uh, steps which you have used in the previous video. Uh, so we will use it for seventh harmonic. Now you know that the seventh harmonic MMF will be in the same direction as the uh, rotor rotation. Okay. So first, what did we find? We were finding the slip of the seventh harmonic MMF. Slip of the seventh harmonic MMF with respect to the rotor with respect to the rotor right so you know that for example this is the rotor right this is the nr for example we are taking the clockwise direction so you know that the seventh harmonic mmf also will be in the same direction and the speed of that seventh harmonic mmf will be ns divided by 7 this we have already seen right so if we want to find the slip what will be that value that slip let us call it as sn ns7 sorry s7 that will be equal to ns divided by 7 minus nr divided by ns divided by 7. Here there is no confusion. In the previous video, you know that it was in the opposite direction, right? So for fifth harmonic, it will be in the opposite direction. So it will become ns by 7 plus nr. But here, there is nothing like that. Okay, so here if you find the value of slip, so let me just calculate the value. So s7 will be equal to um, ns minus 7 nr divided by ns right just basic simplification so this will become 1 minus 7 into nr divided by ns now already you know that nr is equal to ns into 1 minus s right so that means nr divided by ns will be equal to 1 minus s so that we can substitute here so s7 will be equal to 1 minus 7 into 1 minus s right so if you substitute this so you will get 1 minus 7 that is minus 6 and plus 7. So, this will be equal to 7s minus 6. Right? So, the slip of the 7th harmonic MMF with respect to the rotor speed, with respect to the rotor speed which is nr is equal to 7s minus 6. Okay? Where s is equal to what? Where s is equal to the slip produced by the fundamental MMF. So, that value is ns minus nr divided by ms. Okay? So, this is the first thing. Second thing was the speed of the 7th harmonic rotor MMF, right? 7th harmonic rotor MMF with respect to the rotor, with respect to the rotor. So, uh, what was the uh, fundamental rotor MMF speed with respect to rotor? That was 120 into FR divided by P, where FR was equal to S into F electrical. This we have already seen. So, in this case, you want it for the 7th harmonic, right? So, you will have to find F7 here actually you will have to find what F7. So, here Fr was equal to S into uh, Fe, where S is this value, fundamental. So, if you want to find Fr5, okay, so I will just write that formula. So, this will be equal to 120 into Fr5. R5 means frequency of the rotor due to the 7th harmonic, sorry, 7th harmonic. <laughs> Last time also I mixed it, 7th harmonic divided by how many poles? So, if P is the number of poles produced by the fundamental, I already told you 7p will be the number of poles produced by the 7th harmonic and 5p will be the number of poles produced by the 5th harmonic. So, it is 120 fr7 divided by 7p right and what is fr7? fr7 will be equal to slip of the 7th harmonic, slip of the 7th harmonic multiplied by fundamental electrical frequency. So, that will be equal to 7s minus 6 into F electrical, 7s minus 6 into F electrical. So, this value will be equal to 120. We will write it as NSR, comma, last time I did not put this R, but we will put this R just to show that it is the rotor MMF. NS of R, comma, 7 due to the 7th harmonic. So, that is equal to 120 into 7s minus 6 into F electrical divided by 7p, right? And you know that 120 F electrical divided by p is equal to NS, right? ns is equal to 120 f electrical divided by p right this basic uh, induction motor equation so this means ns r due to the seventh harmonic will be equal to 120 f electrical divided by p so this will be equal to 7s minus 6 into ns divided by 7 
okay and what will be the direction of rotation it will be the same direction as the uh, rotor rotation right same direction as the rotor rotation so you don't have negative signs and all here okay now third thing that we always find is the speed of the speed of the seventh harmonic rotor mmf seventh harmonic rotor mmf speed of the seventh harmonic rotor mmf with respect to stator with respect to stator okay so we have already discussed how to find this this value will be equal to so for example this is your nr right and this is your nsr comma 7 both are in the same direction and you are sitting here on the stator and trying to see this so you can see that one thing is already rotating and within that another thing is rotating so both these speeds will get added up okay so that value will be equal to speed of seventh harmonic rotor mmf with respect to rotor which we have just found out plus the rotor speed with respect to stator rotor speed with respect to stator and rotor speed with respect to stator is nothing but this nr value we are using a tachometer something like that to measure okay so this value is nothing but nsr comma 7 plus nr and what was this value this value is 7s minus 6 Into n s divided by seven plus n s. Okay, so we can again simplify this a little bit. So we will get seven. Uh, uh, let me just. So if you multiply this n s by seven into seven s, the seven and the seven will go. So you will get s into n s. Right? Minus six by seven into n s plus. You know that n r is equal to n s into one minus s. So I can write that here. So this will become n s minus s into n s, right? Just simple simplification, simple simplification. So this will both will go. So I can write this value will be equal to that is the speed of speed of the seventh harmonic. These sentences are quite big, but this very simple thing. Speed of seventh harmonic rotor MMF with respect to stator. With respect to stator will be equal to so this is six uh, minus six by seven plus one so it will be one by seven one by seven into n s and what is the direction of rotation direction of rotation is the same is same as the direction of rotor okay so that is the thing and finally what did we find always then finally we cross checked it like this that is the speed of speed of The seventh harmonic, seventh harmonic. This was all rotor MMF. Seventh harmonic stator MMF with respect to stator. That we already know what is the value. Whatever value we are using here, that is this NS by seven here. That is that value. So anyway, so I already told you that is equal to one twenty F electrical divided by number of poles which is produced by the seventh harmonic. Number of poles. Produced by seventh harmonic, so number of poles produced by the seventh harmonic will be equal to in this case seven into number of poles produced by the fundamental. Okay, so in this case it will be equal to one twenty F electrical divided by seven into P. So one twenty F electrical divided by P is nothing but N S. So that is equal to N S divided by seven. So what do you see here also in the seventh harmonic case also you can see that the speed of the seventh harmonic rotor MMF with respect to stator is equal to The speed of the is equal to the speed of the seventh harmonic stator MMF with respect to stator. Okay, so that means these two are stationary with respect to each other. These two rotor M these two MMFs, one which is produced by the seventh harmonic, that is rotor MMF as well as stator MMF produced by the seventh harmonic, are relative. The speed between relative speed between them is equal to zero because they are stationary with respect to each other. And therefore, because these two are stationary with respect to each other. At n s by seven, okay, there is a possibility at speeds near to n s by seven. At uh, speeds near to n s by seven, there is a possibility of possibility of induction torques, induction, and that is how this crawling phenomenon is happening because there is a possibility of the production of the induction torques. For induction torque, what is important? For fundamental torque, let us take fundamental uh, induction torque or tor torque induced. 
we saw that the fundamental rotor MMF and fundamental stator MMF should be stationary with respect to each other. That is the speeds with reference to stator should be equal. Similarly, here also due to the harmonic conditions also the rotor MMF and stator MMF are stationary with respect to each other. Okay? So, here also we will do a small numerical and in the next video we will summarize everything. So, yeah, this is the numerical. It is the same numerical, I have just taken it for the seventh harmonic. Okay? So, this is uh, frequency F electrical is equal to 50 hertz, induction motor running at 1440 rpm, same numerical it is 1440 rpm. So, that means the NS value you can take the closest value that is 1500 rpm and based on this 1500 rpm the number of poles will be equal to 4, you can find it by using NS is equal to 120 F electrical divided by P. So, the question is what you have to find the slip of the rotor uh, with respect to uh, the seventh harmonic field. Okay, you have, so basically, slip of the rotor with respect to seventh harmonic field is nothing but S7. S7. So you know that you can either use the formula directly. That is, I think it was uh, 7s minus 6, right? But rather than that, you can use this method itself. So here you are having your NR, which is 1440 rpm, 1440 rpm, and uh, the seventh harmonic field is rotating in the same direction with ns by 7 speed right ns by 7 speed therefore the slip will be equal to ns divided by 7 minus nr divided by ns divided by 7 so ns value is 1500 right so 1500 divided by 7 minus 1440 divided by 1500 divided by 7 so let me see how much is the value the value is equal to minus 5.72 minus 5.72 so that is the slip value here okay now uh, that is the B part of the question, right? B part. Now, the A part of the question, what they are relative speed between the seventh harmonic field and the rotor. Okay, so they are asking you to find what is the value of Ns of R7 okay, with respect to rotor. So we have already seen it is equal to 120 into S7 into F electrical divided by number of poles is equal to 7 into P. 7 into P, right? Seventh harmonic, seven poles. So this is 120 into 5.72 uh, for that uh, speed you do not have to take this. So, into 5.72 multiplied by um, 50 hertz, right? 50 divided by 7 into number of poles is how much? Number of poles was equal to 4. So, in this case you are having the rotor MMF speed NS R7 will be equal to 1225.71 rpm. Okay. And the direction of rotation will be same direction as compared to the uh, rotor rotation. Okay. Direction of rotation of the seventh harmonic MMF is same as same direction as rotor speed. Okay. So that is the basic idea. So in the next video, what we will do is that we will summarize all the concepts which we have learned with regards to the uh, uh, space harmonics. Okay, we have learned space harmonics. So in the next video, let us summarize all the points. So that will be a good reference for you. So again, I am telling you, please maintain social distancing and also always maintain hand hygiene so that we can remove this coronavirus from our country. So till I see in the next video with me, Varun signing off and have a great day. Thank you. Now that the video is over, please stay with me for 30 more seconds. Now the vision of this channel is to create a repository of good quality videos with crystal clear explanation regarding various topics related to electrical engineering. Now if you want to help me spread the word, please share this video with anyone interested in these topics. The second thing is that for me education is a two way process. Therefore, if you have any doubts or suggestions regarding any of the videos or regarding the channel, please put them in the comments below. We can have a healthy discussion and that way we can build a strong community of electrical engineers. So that's it for today's video. So till I see you in the next time, it's me Varun signing off and have a great day. Thank you.